buddy. Appreciate everyone coming out. Um, obviously, second OTA. Uh, I think there's some great competition going on out there. Uh, it was a lot better to see us push the ball down the field offensively today and get the ball get the ball down the field to some of our playmakers. Uh, that's going to be very important to our success this season. Um, it's awesome. To, it's awesome to be able to work in the nicest facility in the, in the nation, and uh, you know our guys are really enjoying being out here. And the, you know the fields are manicured, and the, the locker room's beautiful. I know everyone here got a tour of it, so uh, we're very fortunate to be here and, and work in this beautiful facility. And um, like I said, it's it's been awesome for our offense to be able to go up, you know up against the number one defense in the National Football League that has really good players. They're they're, they're well coached, and they have they have great schemes. Yeah, it, towards the end of OTAs, when you get into the mandatory camp, and I start getting a better feel for the guys, um, I'll know what routes guys run well. And, and it's hard to tell that all the time when you watch games. Okay, You want to see guys do it in person on the field. So um, yeah, as OTAs go along here, uh, I think I'll have a better understanding of that as, as we go along. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll tell you, you know, with, with him, He's got about as much energy as I have, which is a lot. So, you know, and that's a good thing. I mean, we kind of feed off each other. We get each other going. And, uh, you know, that's just the way I know how to operate on the field. And, and it's, I want guys to have fun out here, but at the same time be competitive uh, and, and learn and, and get better each day. Yeah, I, you know, on, when I, it, was, it was weird this year because when I was in Philly, Two years ago, we had a lot of the uh, Vikings offense in our cutups. This year was not so much. So it's you know I, more of the tape study I had of the Vikings was when I got here. Uh, the fact he, the way he can run, the way he can run, you know, it's, it does, the tape doesn't do that justice. And his ball skills are fantastic. And and the way he tracks the football in the air. I mean, you guys saw him make that that deep uh, that deep ball catch down here. And uh, his 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 ball skills, his football skills are really really good. Sure. Yeah, it's been great. And and obviously, you know, when you coach a guy like Kirk Cousins, um, a guy that wants to come in with the ground running, it makes it a lot easier as a coach. And he's been, you know, in the building, studying at home, using his iPad, you know, maximizing all of his time here, uh, maximizing every second that's allowed in the, in the, in the CBA. So, uh, you know, we're fortunate to have a guy like that that, that's, that is that competitive, uh, that team oriented, and uh, is ready to go every day. I'm sorry. Uh, the ball jumps off his hand better than I expected. To be quite honest with you, um, I mean he can drive the football to the perimeter, and that's a that you need that to play to play quarterback in the National Football League. You have to drive the football to the perimeter. So um, I knew he had a strong arm coming in here, but I didn't know he'd be able to drive it as well as he does as well as he does. And he's got a very compact release. The ball just jumps off his hand, and, and because he's you know he's got a short a short stroke back and. Uh, you know, all those things you look for in, in good quarterbacks. Uh, it helped. I mean, and it helped a lot. And it, uh, what really helps, I've done the job before. And, uh, you know, done the job on a team where you really had to manufacture yards and find ways to get guys open. And, and was it a great situation at the time? No. Was it perfect? No. But at the same time, I think it really helped you prepare how to coach and when you did get that opportunity where you do have guys that maybe are the next, you know, step up in terms of ability, I think it helps you, you know, take some of those ideas that you had to manufacture yards and, and feed the ball in their hands. So I think more so the fact that, you know, I've done this job before um, helped more than anything. Uh, sure, there's an adjustment anytime you change offenses. You know, anytime somebody else is teaching it, um, anytime somebody else is snapping you the football. Uh, there's always a learning curve when it comes to those things, thrown to new wideouts. So I think you saw, I wouldn't say we were rusty yesterday offensively, but it, it wasn't our best effort. And, and the, you know, the thing about it is, it's, you know, I liked, I liked the fact that there were no balls on the ground today in terms of the snaps with the first group. Um, I don't think we had a drop. I got to go and watch the tape. Uh, I thought the protection again for two days in a row was really, really good. So um, sure, there's going to be adjustment anytime you have all those new factors involved.
Um, the fact, I think it's all those things. I think it's all those things. I mean, I want guys that want the football. That doesn't bother me one bit. As long as it doesn't affect the team, you know, I want guys that want the ball. I want guys that have some swag to them. I want guys that are passionate. I want guys that have energy. Okay, that's because that's, that's, I try to lead that way. And like demanding the football is different than wanting the football. And so as long as it doesn't affect the team, I want guys that want the ball. Yeah, I think you're always trying to, you know, create explosive pass gains, you know, whether it be a screen, you know, a wide receiver screen where you get a lead block right on a corner and, and you throw it to Thielen or Diggs or, or Treadwell or whoever, and you let them make a play, make a guy miss, or like you just said, get a chunk play just like that. So I think there's a lot of different ways to create explosive pass gains, and uh, we're going to do as many as we can. Yeah, you know, all he's done is individual and, and you know, some uh, some route work. Uh, but you do see the explosiveness. It's coming back. I mean, you see the explosiveness. The thing we've tried to work with Delvin uh, coming in here is getting him outside the numbers a little bit and getting him out wide and getting him comfortable out there because we want our skill guys, our our, be, our best players and all of our players, okay, to be able to line up anywhere because the, the more jobs you can do and the more places you can line up, it eliminates decision-making for the quarterback before he gets the ball in his hands. Okay, it gives you man zone indicators. It gives you rotation indicators. All those things that you're looking for for the quarterback to help him slow the game down for himself. So, um, you know, we need guys to be able to do a lot of jobs and a lot of jobs well.